I think, you know, that has a lot to do with how the third season of Killing Eve begins because, you know, season two ends with Eve getting shot and you expect something crazy to happen. Is she going to come back as a ghost or are they plotting a fake death? Um, but the third season actually begins with a lot of stillness and a lot of calm and sort of the mundane drudgery that Eve um, is, is her new life. And I'm sure a lot of Korean viewers will be super delighted to see Shin Namyeon and E making dumplings surrounded by Korean chit chat and you know I wonder what it means for Eve to take herself to Koreatown out of all the places when she's really trying to recover from the physical and mental wounds of the second season. I am so pleased that you just said all that you did <laughs> because because yeah. in a way other people just have not picked up on that. Mm. And, and and what I try to do re regarding uh, putting Eve in New Malden, which is the largest enclave of of Koreans in Europe, outside of Mal in Europe, I should just say. Mm -hmm. You know, in in some ways, you can see that you can interpret that Eve is um, uh, is living a pathetic life. Right. Um, but I did not see that at all. I absolutely saw right. that, as you just said it, that she was retreating into a place of calm, into a place of anonymity where she could control right. things. And and um, I remember talking to Suzanne Heathcote when she was saying, I think that I think that Eve should be doing like working in a factory or blah, blah, or something mm. like um, mundane, that kind of thing. And I was like, no, 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 food. Food. Yeah. Put her in the back of the kitchen, <laughs> right? Yes. Mandu, right? Because <laughs> yeah. there is something that even though you might see that she's drinking, that she's out, uh, that she's living kind of in a hovel, that she doesn't have her husband, she doesn't have her right. house, all these exterior things of what she's like, uh, she's, all those things that, who, that have defined her have blown up. Right. Right. So exactly. She, go back to? she goes back to essence of her mother food. She goes yeah. back to the essence of right. her mother tongue. Right. That's right. what I was really trying to stick in there. <laughs> yes. No, so I, totally I don't, I don't know whether that. it's just the Koreans are going to like, <laughs> but I'm glad that you did because that's yeah. what I was trying to do is that you see her not talking. You see her um, kind of almost placid and you see Korean chit chat. You see her refusing to be in the front of the house and wanting to right. be really more comfortable in the back of the house right kind of anonymity but she is actually yeah. protecting herself right actually i think at a moment of strength because when she says in the her first episode to kenny i am not coming back exactly you un hopefully yeah. will understand why the, the you know the episode starts the way that it is because she needs all of that simplicity silence and 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 almost solitude and alcohol um yes. to be able to say no to him in that right way. yeah yeah you really feel how heavy the consequences were and you know you feel that she's truly lost everything in her life and that's why she goes back to the foundational comfort um, that she grew up with um, yeah, so I thought it was such a great opening and definitely not something that I expected, but even oh, more. I'm so glad.